Rocky Chavez was a first-generation college student when he arrived on campus at OCCC in 2002. Though initially unfamiliar with the environment, Rocky jumped right in and became involved in a number of student organizations. I tried to get involved as much as I could. I, I was um, uh, I was a little, probably too much involved. Uh, there's a lady named J.P. Johnson, I believe she's still at the college, uh, actually gave me advice one time and told me it's okay to say no. So, um, but to really to be to, to tell you which clubs I was involved with, the main one was the HOPE, which is a Hispanic organization promoting education. And I spent most of my time with in that group and trying to do things on campus and promote uh, the Hispanic culture on campus. We took conference trips uh, in the summertime and, and one of them exposed me uh, or gave me exposure to pedicabs which are bike powered uh, rickshaws and they provide transportation and entertainment districts. After the semester was over I took the plan and met with the professor and and we would meet for um, early morning coffee and just keep working on it over the Christmas break because it was a fall class. And by March of 2006, uh, we ended up uh, launching it uh, on St. Patrick's Day. So. Rocky and a business partner raised $55,000 to start the company, Bricktown Buggy LLC, the first of its kind in Oklahoma City and the result of an OCCC class project. Day one, was the president of the company, but also the accountant and the HR and the janitor and the mechanic, so we had a, a lot of hats. Through the pedicab business, Rocky was able to provide opportunities to other students. Really helping a lot of the other college students that came and worked for us. For example, there was a, there was a worker who, who wanted to propose to his uh, girlfriend, didn't have enough money, came work for us and, and got enough money to, to propose, got the ring. And so we were, you know, we were part of people's lives that way. And it, it, it felt good to be able to, to, to help in those little ways. So um, seeing other students get going from the 1988 Honda Accord to buying a you know, newer vehicle that could get them a more reliable transportation. And so it was nice to be able to give that opportunity to others. The other part of the business was um, the advertising sales. So we did campaigns for uh, Thunder, Pizza Hut, Budweiser, Pepsi, I mean, just different different businesses that want to advertise their services, especially since we're headquartered or, or you know, our, our home base was here in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. So, so we were there, but um, but some of those events were really good as far as uh, working for the Thunder. We, we did a lot of promotional marketing for them, we got to do pass up events, uh, calendars, schedules, uh, any kind of Thunder paraphernalia that they wanted us to do. And so it really grew our business from Adver uh, just pedal cab transportation to kind of an outdoor me media company in a sense. So that was a fun part of the business that, that I ended up just running uh, or handling myself mostly. After six years in operation, Rocky sold his pedicab business, but not before completing his undergraduate degree and his MBA during that time. He then moved on to another industry a little more familiar to Oklahoma and began doing business development work for an oil and gas midstream operation. We had a, uh, two pipeline systems in Oklahoma that ran from southern Oklahoma to Cushing and we, uh, my job was to help grow barrels on that pipeline and uh, to bring more customers in and then also manage and sell storage space in Cushing, Oklahoma when, they, when it um, would land in, in Cushing. After three years with the midstream company, Rocky joined Oklahoma Natural Gas. Though still relatively new and finding his way in the energy field, Rocky takes time and makes efforts to assist OCCC students, young men in the college's mentorship program. I was in their shoes 10 years ago, so I enjoy being able to have at least that connection with them. And I always offer my contact information if they need advice or anything like that because I, I know that it's it's not easy and, and, and if you know anyone that I got through my, my college career through a lot of folks sticking their hand out and offering me you know, advice and, and help with anything I needed. So it's always a pleasure for me to be a part of it and to help get back in, in that format. His OCCC experience gave Rocky Chavez a strong foundation for building on the opportunities that have come his way. The experience gave me the confidence. I mean, like I said, when I went into the community college, I didn't have a lot to, a lot of folks to lean on in, in my immediate family just for just because they didn't experience that and we just didn't have that experience in our family so going through it getting through it and, and succeeding and then, and then having that experience really gave me the confidence that I could tackle more uh, do more and, and really have 
and just kind of step up and, and be confident in these opportunities that are presented themselves after Oklahoma City to indulge. I have nieces and nephews that, I, that, that are in high school. And, you know, I preach to them all the time about starting at the community college, getting a good foundation, figuring out what they want to do. Um, so I'm always trying to encourage, at least, you know, uh, encouraging my net nieces and nephews to go to college there, so I would do the same for anybody else. I mean, it's a great place to start. Uh, tuition's affordable, and people are there to help you. And, uh, you know, you could go to a large university and come in where there's you know, 300 students in a room, and really you're just a number kind of thing there. So here you get that more personal attention, and you're able to, to meet your faculty and, and get involved with groups and organizations and, and uh, do it all on a relatively inexpensive.